Hey. You just protect me. You're using that thing now, huh? Change form. Zeus. Let's see what happens. Say it. Blood and darkness. It's a curse, boy. Say it with me. Blood and darkness. Each available in high abundance here. Blood and darkness well indeed. We are all willful children, are we not? I'm not a too Hyperion, you know. A titan so obscure and hated that Lord Zeus, he started calling me his birth sister. So much did he dislike this bit of truth. And to get a rise out of me, too. at my style. Never been a finer shield. Going in. I bring a message for you, Slum Hades. One recorded in an age when certain concepts it describes did not yet all exist. Remember this. I see you stand your ground against the serpent's flame. A waking phrase, to which you and the unseen artifact of my creation may respond. A waking phrase? And an all-seeing artifact, you must mean Aegis, right? So I'm to say to it, I see you stand your ground against the serpent's flame, and it'll wake right up. Though, can you tell me what it means, or who? Oh, I can tell you almost anything. However, I would much prefer it if you learned most of the answers you seek by yourself. I see you stand your ground against the serpent's flame. The real kind, for you have slain the living near the surface, have you not? Mere vermin, yes, but good enough for me. Ah. 
That's who I think it is. So how do you like the surface, hey, Prince said, now that you've finally had a chance to see it for yourself? Not too bad, I hope. It takes some getting used to, that's for sure. I'm not sure I'll ever grow completely accustomed to it. Do you miss it, sir? Oh, you know, I still have almost everything that matters, and the rest, it makes for precious memories I didn't have up there. Say no more. Cheers, mate. Godspeed and all. has been lifted. for here. They're making me choose. That was an ill-advised decision, Sacrius. I'm past quickly forgiving such mistakes. Lady Demeter, apologies. Sagrius, and I expect for you to treat me suitably. Desolation. Come to me, fishies. Just trying to insult me. 
Well, if you're going to be so rude about it, maybe a little of each. Though, what do you even care which packs I sign or don't? I'm not an idiot. I see what you're doing. You want to be punished? Then come on. Tartarus. Check. Love that sulfur smell. I accept this message. I go through this stuff awful fast sometimes. And I, in turn, shall go through your incredible cooking awful fast, given the opportunity. Hey there, hun. So what do you think? Pretty good tune, right? Don't know how come everybody doesn't sing. Lightens the mood, passes the time. What's not to like? It's a beautiful song. Even though you're angry with him, Orpheus, I mean, you're always singing still. Oh, it's not Orpheus' song. You kidding me? This one's all mine. He always did like going on about how I'm his muse. Well, that's because I wrote half his songs for him. But he didn't mention that, did he? Well, not exactly in those words, but Orpheus can be a little hard to pass. He can be a little hard to tolerate. A quality I hope isn't going to rub off on any of his mates. I should get back to practicing. See ya. Yours. Thanks so much. Until next time. Smooth sailing. Inferno bombers. It sure is nice up here upon this mountain, not having to escape the underworld. Come join us soon, won't you? Time to go.
kill or be killed. Let's slay some heroes then. Hey, you think I see a fish?
chariots. Just water, little Hades. Many of the dead you face, they met their mortal end at sea and not on land. Single drip. <laughs> Still toiling around within Elysium, I see, battling my brethren. In the name of glory, is that it? I'm heading for the surface. Though your brethren are slowing me down, whether for glory or at my father's behest. Your father? Ah, that's right. But you're the prince, aren't you? You must see plainly, then, what your birthright amounts to. You're no better off than any of us here. Now go. Thanks a lot. Then very well. business almost as much as with that axe. Why isn't Theseus short one? With the same height. No. The king is greater. He is the greatest king of Athens. What are you? A willful son of a fickle god. I am beneath your father's notice, and you are beneath the king's. Now fight me. Man. 
in the name of Hades. mad. I'll not abide such disregard of our past companionship, my kin. In war, one must take sides, and you had best choose mine. Ares, forgive me. for the time. Thus shall we call a truce. There are times I wish I could have been acquainted with your father somewhat more, if you'll forgive my saying so. My father and my uncle here, they are predisposed quite differently than I. Perhaps if you were not so odd and made more effort to be somewhat more approachable, Ares, then we'd have more in common, you and I. Should you need any tips on that, why, you just let me know. to the boon. Mysterious. Other guy. I shall never yield the title champion of Elysium to the likes of you.
to shut him up. Ambrosia. Hope you enjoyed the show, my good shade. Fishing time. Right there. Looks like a gun. Let's see what's in here. You. on you, love. He's poorly understood among the gods, yet surely you can see fair qualities in him and me. What's on offer? comes to you by riverboat this time, young Sagris. At least that Charon is amenable to our attempts to contact you. Chamber. 
speak in the name of Hades. A sack fit for a huge three-headed hound. Bit of an aftertaste. That's quite a stash there, Charon. Don't spend it all in one place, mate. Power of Olympus. Thus has the prince again persuaded fearsome Cerberus to get out of his way. I owe you one, boy. It's kind of nice out here. Blast, but you're persistent even now. But let us see how strong you are as well. even his skill by now. There. Well. In the name of Hades.
the Underworld Prince is getting rather good at this. But let us say he perished anyhow. Well, that was interesting. Let's just have a listen. <coughs> just keep and watch over the pull of sticks there, same as always. Oh, Cerberus. Doubtless you deserve the biggest thanks that this house still stands, don't you? Did you enjoy the treat I brought you from the surface? The surface treat devouring hound of hell provides the queen a most decidedly affirmative response. I thought you might. You wouldn't know it wasn't made of meat, I'll bet. I'll see if we can't grow you plenty more. Father, have you ever considered that Orpheus might be much better as a court musician if you permitted him to see his muse again? I have considered many possibilities, boy. And I trust Orpheus considered many possibilities before he signed away his rights to see his so-called muse when once he invaded my realm. So you're forcing him to stay here for eternity just because he signed a contract with you? Contracts with me are binding. Until such time as they dig themselves out of the archives and tear themselves up. And I don't see that happening anytime soon. Who knows? They might surprise you. Hey, sir. Meant to say I hope I didn't get you into too much trouble after letting me in Father's bedchambers. Think nothing of it, lad. It was a risk I was willing to take. And for his part, your father looked the other way on that one. Though I did not expect you to get free reign to go there as you please. Mother can be quite persuasive. Let's go with this assignment, contractor. My father surely would approve. Oh. something, Zagreus. How is she lately, hmm? Eurydice, I mean. Her hair, fall colors or full bloom. Her poise, as proud and supple as the oak. She's all right, Orpheus. Seems comfortable within her little place in Asphodel. The only thing that seems to bother her at all is when I mention you. Is there nothing you can do to patch things up? Alas, I cannot change the past, my friend. So no. As you can plainly see by now, I'm dead to her. Rightfully so, at that. But that's just a technicality. I mean, you're here, she's there. So what if you're not breathing anymore? You have all eternity ahead of you. Don't you want to see her again? Don't I want to see my Eurydice again? Why, yes. That more than anything, my friend. Provided she wanted to see me. I tried once to disturb her everlasting rest, as you well know, and that did not pan out as I had hoped. You're not making this easy, Orpheus. Megara, I have to ask you something, please. We really need to talk. For once, I think you're right. Although I'm curious, what is it that you think we have to talk about? I still have feelings for you. At least, I think I do. Isn't there... Isn't there some way for us to, you know, work through all of this? In spite of everything that's happened, and that's happening right now, what are the outcomes, Zagreus? What, exactly? I haven't thought that far ahead. But I don't think it has to be this way. I don't hate you, Meg. I don't think I can ever hate you. 
despite my best intentions. Unfortunately, I don't know that I can say the same. Look, I'm at a very difficult point in my career. I need to focus on that now. Do we understand each other? I... I think so. Sorted the cutlery, wiped the counters, replaced the candles, did the dishes, swept the floor, inspected the barrels. Let's see what else. Oh, the prince, it's you. It's me. Dusa, I'm impressed you're able to manage this whole lounge all by yourself. How do you do it? What's your secret? <laughs> secret? I'm two weeks behind schedule with this place, at least. Unfortunately, no one here seems very good at keeping time, so no one's gotten on my case just yet, but... Oh, you aren't gonna tell, are you? Of course not. What's behind schedule, though? This place doesn't seem any worse for wear than usual. Well, that's just it. Miss Nix, she tasked me with a pretty big project a while back to make this place worthy of the name, which means there's so much left to do. I need to get everything ready. Please excuse me, Prince. Isn't there something I can do to help? Here, you can have these, Chef. All right, then. Greetings, Broker. The Mirror of Night. See you, Mirror.